Hello YouTube fans, this is BGA again. Uh, so I'm going to do another video today. And this is going to be on iPad keyboard cases and accessories. Um, I, uh, when the iPad 1 first came out, I was sort of um, one of those who said, eh, it's neat for certain people, you know, if they want like a basic web browser or something for kids, something for fun, but uh, never really took it seriously um, because it didn't have a keyboard and I'm a fan of keyboards. Um, I do a lot of typing, note taking, etc. So I uh, was not really happy that it didn't have a keyboard. Um, so did not get the first one. Um, someone in my family did, actually, slowly but surely, uh, everyone got one, um, and, uh, I played around with it more and more, and, um, saw more and more people with them, and started to see keyboard cases, so cases that had a built-in keyboard, and figured, uh, I might as well give it a shot. So, uh, when I, and I purchased it, the uh, iPad 3, if you want to call it the, the new iPad, as it was called, um, with the Retina display and the front-facing camera, when that came out, um, I, I purchased it, and I purchased it online, and um, thought it was pretty cool. I got the, uh, the smart cover in red, which donates a portion of the proceeds to AIDS uh, research. Um, so I, I ordered the case in red and had the iPad and the case customized to say made exclusively for BGA. Um, obviously I have a thing for my monogram. Um, so I got it and played around with it for about a week. Um, didn't get a keyboard case, uh, I don't know how many were even out for that model right then, but a anyway, didn't get the case because I liked the red smart cover just for what it, just for the customization, uh, kind of vain, I know, um, but anyway, it didn't really, the keyboard case that came with it didn't hold it steadily. Um, a lot of the websites I was trying to access required flash, and it was always like what I needed um, at the time uh, to do was on a website that was not compatible. So I've been a long time Apple user, Mac, back uh, since I was three years old, so like the mid 80s, um, had had at least one. Apple or Macintosh computer. Um, then, of course, the succession of iPods. Uh, it was kind of late to the iPhone game because, like I mentioned, I like keyboards. So I uh, didn't get an iPhone until the 4 came out. <laughs> Unfortunately, I got it right before the 4S. Um, and it's... Uh, I'll do a product review, but I have a Mophie, um, it's the Mophie Pro, uh, and it's a battery case, but it's also a very durable case. This this is taking quite a beating, falling off, from falling down many, many stairs onto a marble floor, nothing cosmetic, etc. I did splurge, something I highly recommend for the iPhone, and I know this is going off topic, but uh, I got this case, it's, um, I don't remember the brand, but anyway, I, I bought it at Best Buy, and when I got it, I paid the extra, I think it was 15 bucks to have them install it, because they'll keep installing it uh, until it's perfect bubble free. And you also have uh, a warranty that it will not peel, etc., and they'll replace it. Um, so I had that happen once. I, uh, how I use my case is during the day um, when I'm at work, etc., I'll uh, use the 
battery that's built into the case. And then if I'm go going out for the evening, I just take off the case, um, take off the Mophie case because it is kind of big and you know, depending on what I'm wearing, kind of bulky. So I'll take off the case and I'm, guess what, I have a fully charged iPhone battery. So uh, it's a great product. Um, I did have some issues uh, with having to send some back in for w warranty because the USB plug, it does use the older USB plug versus like a, uh, versus a Thunderbolt, um, whatever Apple's new thing is, or, uh, or the 30 pin dock connector, which is the type of connector on this phone. Um, so the, that that's kind of unfortunate uh, if I'm plugging it directly into a um, into a iPod dock, etc. I have to take off the case, and then usually I don't have a protective case on it. But um, so anyway, I, I I can talk about that later if you want, but I'll probably wait until I get um, the iPhone 5s uh, and and one for that to do that review, but if any of you want it done sooner, I'd be more than happy. Um, so let's uh, get back to the original purpose, which was talking about the iPad. So this is my iPad, and this is in the Zagfolio uh, Pro Plus, um, and I love this case. This reignited my love of my iPad. My iPad sat after the first couple weeks of having it, um, it sat collecting dust, uh, which is kind of unfortunate. But um, I, I really I couldn't get used to it. Um, the keyboard thing and just didn't really serve a purpose. I didn't. I, I have a Verizon. I don't know what they officially call them, but uh, you know, it used to be called an Air Card. So it and this so it, so it's basically a, a, a device that gives you Wi-Fi access to all of your devices through the Verizon network. Um, so I figured instead of spending the whatever fifty sixty dollars a month uh, for these um, oh plus I was locked into unlimited data because I I paid full re retail price so I didn't have to renew my uh, contract, so I um, grandfathered into the unlimited data, which is great. Um, and uh, so I can, can that, yeah, I have to carry that around, but it's about the size of a credit card and about six credit cards thick, um, the, one, the one that, that I currently have. And I can connect, I think it's up to five devices, uh, Wi-Fi. So I, if I need Wi-Fi, and I currently live predominantly in Chicago, and I have uh, Comcast Xfinity, so there's tons of free Comcast, uh, free Xfinity Wi-Fi wi hotspots throughout the city. Um, or if I'm at work or at a hospital seeing patients, um, I can just use the Wi-Fi there. So I've never really run into a problem. Um, I can show you the bag that I carry around. It's a saddleback leather bag that I absolutely love, um, but I'll save that for a whole other review. Uh, so the Zag Folio case um, has a port for um, a port for the 30 pin connector. Uh, it does, it, so some of the early complaints was that why does it cover up the speaker and have this open portion here? Well, the reason why it covers up the speaker is it's not really covered, kind of like the Mophie case on my iPhone. It redirects the sound forward. Um, which a lot of the uh, keyboard cases do. Uh, and that's great. Um, so it does not block sound. It actually sounds better, in my opinion. And the reason for this open space is because if you see when you open the case up, you need that to lock it in. Now, this does only have one position. Um, 
and it automatically powers on uh, the keyboard. Um, so I touch any button, and the cool thing is it has a backlit keyboard, which makes it about thirty dollars more than the other case they have. But you know what? I really <laughs> like stuff like this, and you can change the color purple, kind of like an a white to aqua, a red, a green, a dark green, blue, purple, dark purple, light purple, wh whiteish. So anyway, and then you can adjust the brightness. Um, so I usually leave it on like a blue, I kind of like that. Uh, anyway, so it automatically, you, you don't, to pair is really simple. Um, you have these buttons o o there, o o over here, an on off button and, and a pairing button. Once you pair, um, you don't have to worry about pairing it again uh, and you just leave your Bluetooth on. The keyboard actually has tactile keyboards that make a sound when you type which I love. It makes me feel like I'm typing on a real keyboard. I have not huge hands but like uh, to give you an example I'm like a medium glove size but um I'm perfectly comfortable with it. It, it maybe took about couple hours to get used to and uh, it has some 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 shortcuts um, magnification search uh, slideshow for pictures on-screen keyboard cut copy paste uh, one button to lock your, your iPad um, one button to take you back to the home screen and it has a button that when you push it will give you your battery indication status uh, obviously your adjustments for the backlit keyboard lighting and another button with the globe icon uh, to change to like emoji keyboard or any other language um, keyboards that you might have in sub. So great keyboard love it very durable doesn't add a lot of weight uh, in in my opinion i mean i'm comparing it to carrying my my macbook pro unibody um every day with a very well not very heavy but a, with, with a rel relatively heavy leather briefcase and large textbooks um so this case actually made me fall in love with my iPad. Um, I, I, I've been going on an app shopping spree. Um, found some great note-taking apps. I know the gold standard is Evernote, uh, but I have some other ones that um, I, I, I can do a separate video on on apps. But um, but. Uh, Notability, I think, is is what I use. So you you you, you can record audio um, while you are typing. Um, something else is uh, you 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 can draw on screen. Um, the best stylus I have found the ba the bamboo stylus solo. Highly recommend it. Um, kind of thin for my liking because I mean you guys know that I'm into thick fountain pens but for what it is and it's got a pretty small rubber tip the rubber tip is replaceable uh, with either it comes in three packs the replacements firm or soft um, the BAM uh, there's an app from Wacom who makes what Wacom Wacom um, they, they make kind of uh, they've been making devices um, that interface for like Photoshop um, they've been making screens for for photographers etc that uh, to do editing and artists um, so it's a really high quality company uh, so when I I re read tons of reviews on this would be styli, 
Uh, and this seemed to be one of the highest rating. It's kind of expensive, but um, well worth it, uh, especially if you're worried about scratching your keyboard as I am. Uh, uh, not your keyboard, your s screen. So between this, if I want to, if I'm taking some notes and I want to add a diagram, um, I'll uh, I'll use this to just draw into the note. Um, so between Evernote and I'm still getting used to Evernote, so I don't want to talk too much about it. And I'm and I'm kind of <laughs> hate to say this, but not exactly the most. Um, technologically aware person anymore. I, I'm starting to fe feel my age. My little nephew, the new tech, uh, well, thank God, because all, all, all tech questions are referred to him now. But uh, yeah, he's, he's pretty much mastered the Apple um, iOS and edited it, customized it, jailbroken, whatever created something on his on his iPhone that looks nothing like the iPhone and now he's getting into Android just yeah kids like a child prodigy so anyway um so between this the Zagfolio Pro Plus and if you don't care about the backlight you can save like 30 bucks it's kind of fun um and let's see what, what else uh, also, you can hook up a external microphone. I haven't done it yet, but um, if you get the camera connection kit, you you have two units. One uh, accepts an SD card, so that's how you can load photos from an SD card. Um, I, sh I I do use SD card cameras, but I shoot mostly in RAW, so I, I don't use that feature too much. Um, but uh, the USB, um, the USB will allow you to use a USB microphone. Now I ha I haven't used it yet. I this just came in, but um, I hear that if that's plugged in, you can't use the keyboard. So I'm not sure about that. I can't confirm it. Uh, if any of you know, please comment. Um, and then I got this uh, StarTech.com hard to find made easy audio cables 3.5 mini jack male to two 3.5 millimeter mini jack females. Uh, one for one for headphones, one for an input of a microphone. Um, great for Dragon dictation. Great for a microphone that accepts this uh, type of input and you still have the functionality of the keyboard. So I ordered some uh, some Sony mic intended for lecture hall recording just to try that out um, because I might need to use that instead of my Samson uh, Go mic, I think it's called. Um, so when I got the keyboard, I kind of wanted to, to to make sure that what I got was the best possible keyboard out there. And the reviews seem to be between that and the, and this. And I'm sorry, I don't have the box for the the other one, but um, this is the Logitech Fabric Skin. It fits the uh, iPad 2, iPad 3rd and 4th generation. This is like a red and blue that they have multiple colors. Um, and let me show you the in, in the inside. You've got this really cool kind of red USB charging cable for the keyboard. Now keep in mind on both of these keyboards, the battery life, even with the, the backlit keyboard, is supposed to last about three months at least. So. Um, not a big deal as far as charging. Uh, and here's the case. Um, right, the Zag Folio is like a synthetic pebbled. Actually, I don't know if it's synthetic or not. I'm, gu I'm guessing it's synthetic leather. Um, but it's it, it's it's a really nice texture. This is like a smooth um, kind of like a. I I want to say neoprene. Um, and it's it's a little bit more modern looking, stylish, I, I guess you'd say. Uh, 
but both of these do have the magnetic sensors, so when you open them, um, you, uh, your, your your iPad automatically wakes up, and when you close it, your auto iPad automatically goes to sleep. So how it works, you snap your iPad in kind of, although it's a little more sturdy, kind of like the traditional s s smart cover. And then you have this keyboard with very, very thin keys, not backlit, um, and they are spill-proof. So I'm probably going to keep this, and when I go t to the beach, use this, um, or environments, you know, maybe if I'm doing psychodynamic testing on children and they're having a juice box or something, Maybe I'll s switch out to this, you know, but I, 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 I am planning on keeping both. And um, Now, some things I, I don't like, I didn't find the keyboard pleasant to use. If you're, uh, if you're more of a modern typer, you know, etc., you may find it fine. Um, I didn't really like the spacing, the keyboard makes, I mean, I'm sorry, the space bar makes a noise, not sure if you can hear it, but none of the other keys make that same noise. It's cool, it, it, it has shortcuts too, and it has a shortcut directly to Siri and so some of the other ones. The Bluetooth pairing is automatic as soon as you put this into the upright position. Uh, you just make sure that uh, you just have to register the Bluetooth one time. Now, with both of these, there's only one viewing angle as, um, as as far as having it stand up. Now, one of the drawbacks to the to the Zagfolio, it uh, and well, for both of these is that you can't it won't lock in any other uh, position except for one. Um, so that's a drawback. However, with this keyboard, you can fold it. Fold, you, you can fold it with kind of like a, if a, a a little tilt, um, and I don't know how this would work with the keyboard on the back. Yeah, I guess the keyboard's off now. So you, you could technically lay this flat to use the, the stylus. The Zagfolio doesn't really lay um, completely flat. So if you plan on using a stylus a lot, this may be a better choice for you. But uh, I don't know. I, I, I prefer the Zagfolio. When you open this, it's weird. You would think that this tab w would be up top, this little opening tab, but it's not. So you gotta like flip it over and then put it in. It's just a little awkward. Um, but but anyway, they both cover the back. That was another big thing. That, that there's like the Logitech ultra thin keyboard and a couple other. Uh, highly recommended options for iPad keyboards that you to, to really protect uh, some of them will accept the uh, um, full back cases uh, some some accept the stick on case but it's not like the true protection that you get with either of these um, this feels like it's more resistant to drops, spills, etc., which is kind of designed to do. Oh, um, the Zagfolio is a pretty hard case, kind of like the Mophie. I don't really plan on dropping my iPad ever. I'm pretty careful with my electronics, but uh, I think I, I, either one would be, be fine with, um, or at least comparable. Um, so yeah, so the Bamboo Stylus Solo made by Wacom, um, it's available in a few different colors. It's pretty thin. Um, the tips, thin, which I like. Some, some of the uh, styli that I looked at was like writing with a magic marker. Um, 
I haven't tried it with any other apps yet except for the free Bamboo app that you can get with this. Uh, it's kind of like pressure sensitive and um, yeah, and uh, and it, it works great. You, you can adjust the line size, uh, handwriting is pretty natural. Um, but for, I purchased it for the occasional time that I have to sketch a diagram etc. So that's that. That's the uh, basic comparison. Both connect uh, via USB to recharge when you need to. There is a solar powered model um, by by Zag, I believe it might be by Logitech. Um, but I was looking at that one uh, and I think that did not have a back cover. I don't know. That there was some reason that after some research I uh, did not go with this. So with that, sorry. Um, anyway, the audio on this uh, I turned up since my last video today, uh, but I'm still using the Samsung Go mic. Um, and uh, I will do a video on apps for PhD students, PsyD students, graduate students, master students, university students. Um, probably most of the apps that I use aren't uh, geared for um, K through 12. Uh, I mean, note taking is note taking, but the degree of organization and having to record every lecture, etc. I mean, it, it could help certain people, um, sure. Uh, but um, yeah, so I will do that at some point. But uh, let me know what you think about these cases and if you come across something better, different. I'm also looking, uh, my girlfriend wants to get her parents a keyboard case for her mother's iPad mini. Um, so if you, ha if you have any recommendations, I'll probably just get a Zag uh, for the mini. But feel free to post comments. I greatly appreciate it, and I hope this was somewhat helpful. Thanks, and I'll talk to you again soon.